What I'm presenting here, and this was work done jointly with Stephen and Nick and some other people from our lab, is how you can capture facial expressions just by looking at images from an eye tracking camera inside a VR headset. So when people say like a natural smile, you really smile with your eyes, this work kind of validates that. Like if you are really smiling or really happy or surprised, it reflects in your eyes and by looking at those eye images, we can detect what your facial expression is. Right now, even if you have avatars in VR, the way you uh, control expressions on them is by doing some gestures or pressing some controllers. But if I'm really playing a game, I'm totally Im immersed in a VR game, and I really want to shoot the bad guy, I don't have my hands free to make an angry face, but my eyes convey those emotions. And by using that uh, eye tracking camera, we can detect what your expression is and rig it on your avatar. We have proven that you can use eye tracking camera hardware to do something more than eye tracking without adding new sensors. A great application would be once you have consumer headsets with the eye tracking cameras built in, it could be used in your VR platform to control avatars or how we can do photorealistic headset replacement we could put expressions in that ex uh, experience too. It's a, a deep learning model and that just looks at the eye images and tr we trained a network to uh, classify expressions. We at least went through 10 different uh, designs uh, or architectures to and gradual improvement iterating and got something that is about 75% accurate. We are very privileged to be able to show it to such a big audience like thousands of people can come and try it out and experience it in person. And the best feedback we get when it actually works, people see it and they're happy and it immediately catches that happiness and it shows that. Another really important learning experience from being at SIGGRAPH is having it, trying it on a very diverse group of people. Right now we've been trying it in a lab or research academic setting, having like designers, artists, everybody from different walks of life come and try it out. It also teaches us where our system doesn't work and what we should improve next.